h2 and then so this mirrors with this one 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 this would mirror with this one because it's far to the left so in the mirror image it will be far to the right and this becomes nh2 ch2 ch2 and uh, n h2 so yeah so we have uh, non superimposable optical isomers they are mirror images far to the left far to the right uh, towards the top right towards the top left uh, towards the bottom right towards the bottom left so these are our uh, optical isomers non superimposable mirror images and this is optical isomerism in octahedral complex it will not get more difficult than this uh, this is exactly what you have to remember what you have to do uh, we will come to geometrical isomerism in octahedral complexes now okay so there so there are three types of geometrical isomerism in octahedral complexes uh let us do the first one so since we uh, i want you to remember this so when we have two monodented ligands and two bidented ligands we not only get optical isomers we also get geometrical isomers now i'll tell you what i'm talking about let me draw this one again uh here so x perpendicular upwards perpendicular downwards dash dash wedge wedge okay so we had nh3 here we had nh3 here we had nh2 um sorry nh2 ch2 ch2 and uh, n h2 then we had h2 n ch2 ch2 uh ch2 ch2 and again n h2 so this was our molecule uh, we did we made an optical isomers for this where we made a mirror image 2 plus the charge however if you know uh, if you see if we change if we uh if we exchange the positions of this nh3 molecule and of this entire group the nh2 uh, ch2 ch2 nh2 molecule if we replace the positions then what we get is a geometrical isomer and i'll tell you why so we have x over here we have nh3 this one does this one stays here we first make our dashes our dashes our uh, wedges and complete the structure at the charge okay so if i i i said i replace i'm replacing this uh, sorry about that i said i am replacing this group we uh, are with this nh3 and how i'm doing that is i'm going to bring this nh3 over here to this uh, to the bottom of the molecule so i'll have nh3 here so what happens now is that these nh3 which had a which first had a bond angle of 90 degrees between them because they were like this now have a bond angle of 180 degrees between them because i changed the position so i changed the position and this is what happens so uh, then we have we then we have uh, this group coming to these two bonds so i have an nh2 and ch2 ch uh, this looks like a curve so i raise this ch2 ch2 
and come back in H2 then H2N